Hello guys, welcome to another Canva tutorial. So we are doing a complete series on Canva as you know and today we'll be working upon how to use your own custom fonts in Canva. So usually Canva has a lot of fonts available for you to use in any of your project that you're working upon. But sometimes there might be a need whereby you have to use a custom font and you might be having the files of the font, you might have the true type font type and all those files but you are not aware how to use it on canva right so today i'll be teaching you how to use your custom font on canva how to upload your font and then later on how to execute it in a document so first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna download a font so i'm just gonna search on google i can go for free fonts and from any of the websites you can just go to any of the websites and you can download a font for example yeah i like this bakery one let's try this so i just ended up downloading the font and i got the font zip file with me out here right so now i'll go to canva so in canva there is this thing known as brand kit which uh, is available on your home screen so as soon as you are on your canva like as soon as you are logged in or your, your account you can go to the brand kit out here and here you have the brand fonts and you have the option to upload and use any of the custom fonts so these are some of the fonts that I have uploaded to be used and do i do have a game of thrones font also and a gta font also you can see out there so as per the requirements we get we have to you know use different types of fonts so in order to upload the font okay let us just unzip file and see what we got out there so we got this file out here with the name uh, okay so they have given us two extensions we have the dot otf and we have the dot ttf so i'll be using this ttf extension to upload the font ttf stands for true type font and it is one of the most common extensions i can just copy the name of the file so that i can search it while uploading from my mac so you have to go back to your canva you have to go back to upload a font you get the pop-up out there you can search for the file name and you have to just you know select the file and mark it as open and canva will then give you a confirmation saying that you have the rights to upload this font and it is not being used for commercial purpose blah blah and all that so you can just go ahead and you can click yes upload away so it will just you know upload the fonts out there so currently the font is being uploaded all right so it doesn't take much yeah so we have got font over there that we just uploaded where is it let's check it out bakery 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 it's not showing it to me uh, yeah here we have it bakery regular so i just got my font over there now if i create a design i can go to create a design if i'm creating anything out there so here i have my canvas loading up and so i can just you know go to text take any of the text right anything over there and finally what you have to do is you have to go to the font drop down and you will be able to see your uploaded fonts has the bakery regular font out there so just select your font and we got it you can make it bigger give some space out there maybe to make it look better yeah so that is how you upload and how you use custom fonts in canva so i guess that was easy to do guys and now that you have figured it out you will be able to upload and use custom fonts in canva for the complete series tips tricks and everything on canva you can subscribe to my channel do share and like the video and if you still have any doubts then you can surely comment down in the comment box and i'll surely get back to you apart from that i also offer a complete online digital marketing course in uh, digital marketing social media management search engine optimization google adwords as uh, and also i'm offering you know web design and development course so if you're sitting in anywhere in the world, you can have online classes for uh, with me and whereby I'll be teaching live uh, right on your system using TeamViewer. So that's all for the day. I hope you'll be able to do this now. And thank you so much for watching. And this is me signing off now. Take care.